to have the cleric lead out. I think we got everything. Anything in there? Nope. Alright, let's go out. Uh oh, what do we got here? Some guards appeared over there. Let's go up this way. Looks like we have a small trail leading up here. And some more Zen Scouts. Perish! Yeah. Yeah. Surrender! Let's see, do I have any spells left? Let's see, can we crank out some entangle? It's in term cleric. Let's hit him with some quick serious wounds. Ah, oh, fuck, I lost him. Badly wounded. Hitting him. Uh, he's dead. What we got left. Let's put some bull strength. Actually, let's do some healing. Let's get up here. Ooh. Get the fireball hit there. Alright. Let's see. Let's do some inflict on the scout. Alright, we gotta get rid of this fucking mage. Alright, he's done for. Alright, let's get my damn companion out. As you should! Took his ass out. Check out these remains. Potion of cure light wounds. And there's the transition point to North Dark Wood South. Alright, anything else we can get to here? We cross here? Yeah. Alright, before we get too crazy, let's start casting some heal. Let's use up these cheap ones. I still have this. Yes, lay on hands. Walk in my step. Follow me. All right, let's put some healing on myself. For Gosham. Okay, so that leaves us with Bless and Bane. That's good to go. Alright, Paladin lead on out. Let's see what we have on this side. Yep, that is a trail going up right there. Let's take a look over here. If there's anything hidden that we can get to. Oh, what do we got here? 
boy. A dryad. And a voice that sounds like a breeze sowing through the fall woods. Stay your step, man of flesh, unless you, unless you bring me fire. What do you mean, dryad? I do not seek to harm you. And hear my tale and weep, fleshling. Something coyly and to, to herself, perhaps he'll bring me fire. The dead cold fast approaches, and my elven love lies sleeping round my roots. The sunning forth will wake me when the dead cold passes, but no such sun will wake him. And this, O oh flesh thing, makes me wish to burn with him. He was fire friend, a fire foe. But that which made us strange in life will make us one in long sleep. Have you a fire for me? Ah, such sorrow. Her elven love lies dead, and she wishes to burn with him. Soon has been knowing, has been known to mete out cruel desires. Surely, though, we will not aid her. She is mad with love, and a fire could very well destroy more in the forest than she. Fae creatures are well fae. Quite frightened. It is a bad business to meddle with such beings, Pelor. I would rather be facilitating the marriage of a young barmaid somewhere. Where is the body of your elven lover, Dryad? I do not see him. My love lies sleeping around my roots, flesh thing. Sleeping? Then he is buried beneath your tree? Indeed, she sleeps. He sleeps as does a stone. Alright, we got some diplomacy, intimidate, and bluff choices here. If he is truly sleeping, Dryad, there's a chance he'll wake. Surely you will not burn him alive. I do not ask for much, fire friend. I cannot touch the fire myself. Make one for me. Hmm. I am not convinced your beloved is dead, Dryad. I will not set a fire for you. Foolish flesh thing, then you shall try the long sleep first. As the Dryad steps away from her tree in fury, you hear a sound like wood breaking, and an elf materializes nearby. Galathius, you wake! But we were to share the deep dreams of a long sleep together. You cannot leave me, nor will you. And fighting. Yep, it was a ruse. It looks like. Is there something you right. wish? Sure. Everybody, start attacking. I hear the battle. Can I get him behind me? Oh. Got a sneak attack in there. Uh oh. Let's use some portions of healing here. Yes, I can accomplish this task. Badly wounded. Uh oh. Oh shit. Alright, took the dryad out at least. On your guard, foes approach. Alright, let's talk to this Galathius here. Journal update Dryad's fire. Hail strangers, I am Glathius. I am most sorry to have brought you to brought you into this, and sorry you're still that boy, and I could not have parted on better terms. What is your story? Did the dryad enchant you? Yes and no. If it pleases you to hear my story, I will tell. 
I'm originally of Everesca, but I'm a member of a small company of Everescan elves who have an interest in protecting this vicinity. Though we travel and fight as a group, we are each of us rather given to solitude than to company, and spend many days apart exploring the wood and scouting. One ten day this past summer, I happened upon Voy, or she upon me. I had fallen asleep by this water. The grass here, now sere and scant, was full of flowers, and the drone of the bees was heavy in the air. A dryad will sometimes charm an elven or human beloved, but Voy had no need of such magic at first. We spent many a day and night on this bank. It was a strange, bitter love, sometimes cruel, often fierce, and never dull. But as the autumn approached, Voy grew restless. She spoke of the coming dead cold and feared that what would happen to me when it came. She was never a reasonable creature, but she became worse. I pleaded that I would have to leave her. She began to use her magic on me. I let her. The best of her days in late summer passed in a kind of twilight, where I only half knew what I was and what she was, but suddenly I found that I had no will left at all. She put me into a deep sleep and wrapped her roots tight around me. In short, Voy, whom I had loved, had made me a prison out of that love, a prison in which I would have died. It pains me that we had to part like this, without the farewells of lovers, but such things happen. Indeed they do, Galathius, but love is always a thing of beauty. Tragic or not, though, beauty can be a merciless thing. Thank you for the tale, Galathius. Is there anything else I can do for you before you go? No, my friend. It shall not be difficult for me to track down my company. Our leader, Erebenian, must fear me dead. I shall return to him with all haste. Thank you, and farewell. Oh, 200 experience points for that one. Is there something you wish? Okay, so I guess that's it for this area here. Let's go back up to the trail. Anything else down here? Oh, got some Zents following me. Strike at them! Attack! Run back down to my friends. Alright, what do we have here? Ghostly visage. Taste the fire rock! We've got come. Alright, Roman, let's see if we can do some backstabbing here. Man, let's use some healing. Oh. Alright, let's get this damn clear. I will attempt it. Damn, man, another potion. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get behind him. Almost. There we go. You have need of me. Take a look at the remains. We got a scroll. Let's see what we got there. Cure light wounds. Let's give that to cleric. All right, onward. All right, we gotta go to a different view here so we can see uphill. All right, this looks like is it the path? Now 
let's pull out the map here. That's where we just came from. Why are these guys not following? Follow me. <sighs> you must fall uh -oh. for the greater good. And some more zents up there. No problem. All right, let's see if we can backstab this guy. You have need of me? Rip you to shreds. Surrender, or prepare to meet your end. It was a mistake. Let's give him some of this. his ass out. Another potion of cure light wounds. Alright, that should be where we came from. Yep. Let's do another quick run around here.